on this video we're gonna be working on this headliner here um, it's pretty stained the customer didn't know that the sunroof uh, the sunroof was slightly open while they're going through a tunnel car wash I believe so um, yeah so this is literally what I'm here for I typically would not take on a job like this it's I only I'm only charging them 60 bucks just to touch up the just to touch up the headliner nothing else in the interior but primarily i was like man everyone's always always asking for photos uh for photos for uh headliner cleaning on the youtube channel so i was like you know what i'll go do this see if just to, just for this video more so than anything it's literally just for this video because this customer is like 10 minutes 15 minutes away so it's not bad of a drive and it gives me opportunity to show you some headliner cleaning so let's do it Okay, so we're gonna start off real simple with this. <laughs> I really hope that's recording. It's I know it's recording because I checked, but I just hope it keeps on recording well. Any mess ups? So I have APC Super Clean diluted 10 to 1. Use whatever all-purpose cleaner you'd prefer. This is diluted at 10 to 1. Um, as you can see, like right, it's already somewhat sagging. Uh, I don't know if it's due to this or maybe, or maybe just beforehand it was already sagging. But so like I'm already gonna be careful about like how aggressive I get with this in terms of not that it can't be aggressive, but since it's already sagging, I'm not gonna try to pull on the material to make it worse. So I'm gonna start off super simple with just a towel and APC. So of course we're gonna have to clean the ring part, that's the most noticeable, but all this has to be cleaned because all of that is, is stained uh, to some degree. Here, we're also gonna touch this up just because we're already here, so we just to finish it off, yeah. But it's gonna be the ring primarily and then everything underneath the ring because that's where all the same bit. So, First, starting off, and you're first, and you're first gonna try and see what works and what doesn't. You're not gonna spray everything. Literally, just spray like a tiny little part right there, and agitate. So here, just starting off, I'm gonna do it with a towel, just to see what's gonna take place, how the headliner is gonna react, if it's gonna damage anything, or if it's gonna like just you know, we're just testing a small little spot here. And the thing is, like, since it was going through a car wash. Maybe there's still plenty of chemicals in there, or you know, it could be where like it might, you know, it might start um, forming suds and stuff because there's chemicals. Maybe there's soap still there that's gonna activate once we start agitating or something. So it's just to check and see how it's going to come out. Another thing is that like since we did spray liquid, like you do need it. You, you want to wait for it to dry to see how it truly turns out. I have an air mover, I have a blower, I can speed it up, but if you don't, then you will just have to wait a few minutes. But here, just based off of that, it does look a lot better. And this is, <laughs> it's simple, right? <laughs> it's super simple, it's literally just APC. So now, I'm gonna just keep on going down, just to, just to see how it's gonna cut through the entire, how it's gonna clean up on this entire spill. Because if it cleaned up well right here, then okay, I can, I can kind of guess it's gonna be the same here, but let me keep on going down. And I put the towel here to catch it because I'm only cleaning the headliner. I'm not really going to touch anything else. I mean, some overspray here and there, but for the most part, I'm not going to touch anything else. So I'll just, just put a little bit more APC. And again, just gently. Like, I'm not trying to go... I'm not going hard. And I don't know if this suds is from the APC or if it's from the liquid that's still there in the headliner. Here. And remember where you went too because if you forget where you went like you're just kind of working in circles trying to see where your progress is at. There we go. So I'm gonna try to catch that ring right there. Alright, 
it looks like it's actually coming out. But again, it's still it's not it's not wet by any means, nor is it slightly damp. Like it's it's not, but there is some to some degree there is some moisture in it, which will change the appearance once it actually dries. But based off of that, I mean the rings out. Um so now does this mean you can like you're gonna follow this exact process throughout everything? Uh for the most part, yes, but that doesn't mean some other stains like here or here or just somewhere else where there's different material and possibly a different level of spill or whatever might be give, might give you different results. So, you know, ideally you'd want to use the same method everywhere because you just want life to be that easy. But there's sometimes where it just might be different. It just might be different for whatever reason. I don't know. So we'll just keep on going. I'll do this whole side right here and see how it turns out. How's it looking guys? What do you guys think from the video? I'd say it's coming out pretty good. I'll just do half of this and then I'll try to use a different method on this side just to show you guys a different method. So I'm gonna just focus on this section here because it might come out different because it's green. I don't know if it's a different dye or whatever, whatever. So I'll just focus. And I'm, again, I'm catching the, the, the overspray and also just so it doesn't fall right back to my nose and face. Actually, here I'll just, I'll just skip this part and go straight to the brush. So you can use a brush as well. Same concept where you don't want to overdo it. Like, you don't want to, it's already sagging and stuff. You don't want to change the direction of the fiber. So it's like very, very, very light agitation. Like, I'm not putting any pressure whatsoever. And I always find it, I always find it funny when people are like, let the brush do the work. It's like, yeah, but who's holding the brush? I am. <laughs> so I'm doing all the work. So I always thought that was funny. So let the brush do the work. I'm the one with the brush. I'm doing the work. So it kind of spread around a little bit, spread, spread around a little bit. That's fine, we'll just mop it up. All that green stuff. Why do I, they always gotta make the product so colorful. And I understand it's cool when you're, when you're driving through the tunnel and stuff, it's, you know, gives it that all effect, but. Man, there's green, there's blue over there, purple. So let me spray again. As you can tell, these I, I, I'm not oversaturating the area. I'm not trying to soak it. Where it's, it's literally just enough to give it some bite to the material. But you're not trying to, you know, really get it wet or anything. When the customer reached out, the first thing I said was, I don't know if I can get it 100% perfect, but I know I can make it look better. And that's an important part, not just with headliner cleaning or whatever, but just across the board with all your services. Like, if you've polished out dozens of cars in, the, in terrible condition, and someone sends you a photo and they're like, hey, can you get these scratches out? Just because you know you have done something like that, or you've done a, a car similar to that, doesn't mean it's gonna come out just as good as all the other ones. So don't jump the gun and be like, oh, of course I can get that out 100%. I've done it a million times. Even though you're pretty confident you can, don't set yourself up where if you can't for whatever reason, you kind of, you know, not to, you know, you can always change it up and just be honest with the customer, but, and say, hey, this is just different, but you wanna always set yourself up for proper expectations. And I don't know if I can actually take this all out because of because of the color and stuff. I don't know how long it's been here, but so far it's turning out pretty well. And I know, guys, if you guys, there's so many other tools. I can use a steamer right now. You can use a tornado. You can use so many things you can use. But I'm trying to keep it simple because not most most of the people that watch this channel don't have a business, guys. Like you guys get mad. At, You're supposed to. Like, I'm trying to teach like for the person that's not that's not wanting to spend that much money. 
to do this. Like this is just literally a towel on APC. Like this is not much going on. I could use a drill brush. I could use a steamer, which I will eventually, because this will take a little longer. But I'm trying to show you guys that you can do this with simple stuff. Does that look better, guys? What do you think? Can't tell. Now I'm working a little larger area now that I see that it's coming out. But remember, the larger areas you work, the more fatigued you're gonna get. Like I am, you know, basically laying down backwards with my hand, my arm in the air. So it will require some level of um, endurance. See how this foam coming up? That's not from. The, I mean, it's from the APC, but it's also from whatever else was there. As you can see, it's pulling that all out. Now there's this. This is a Range Rover. Um, don't know what the. I think the 2012. Cause that's what it says on the sticker. Um, so you know the, the material is not bad, but there's some other vehicles. Where it's just like the, you know you swipe it one way and like you can instantly tell which way you you shifted the fibers and then it looks funny. So you have to be careful for that. Here I'm not having that problem. It's like I'm not gonna bring one. Now it's important that you don't let this dry as well. Like if you're cleaning the ring right and then you let amount of liquid dry like this like you're gonna fall you're gonna form your own ring again because that's just liquid being built up forming a ring big deal right so make sure that on the outer edge of whatever you're cleaning you're mopping it up so you don't form that ring again not that it won't be hard it wouldn't be hard to get out but you know just don't let that happen by just making sure it's dry and not dry 100% but there's no built up liquid right here on the edge to form that ring Okay, here we go. Let's just do this real quick. Let me try to jump and do the whole thing and see how that turns out. Because again, the more the more the larger area you work, the more fatigued you're gonna get. And as you're getting fatigued, you don't put as much effort, not not pressure, but like effort. Right? Like if I'm just trying to work this area, I could be like very, you know, specific and accurate here. But now that I'm working this larger area, now I have to I have to follow, I have to be, you know, accurate and specific everywhere. But I'm gonna get tired and I'm gonna struggle where I am and And there we are for the most part on this part, the uh, sunroof. Let me get a good pan. As you can see, this is this still needs to be dried up right here. But I'm gonna wipe this down here, wipe this part down here as well. But yeah, it's looking much better. It's not, it's not wet at all. Like it's not there. If you touch it right now, it's not even wet. But knowing that there is some solution in there from the APC, possibly, most likely from the car wash itself too. You have to still let it dry, but this should be the final results. Nothing should really come back. Um, if anything, I just got to touch this part right here, and then that's it. So now it's going to this part of the headliner, which is different material. Different, not I don't know about material, but just 
it feels different. It's stuck on there. It's tight, so it can it can take a harder um, uh, agitation than this one. But uh, gonna get so so far we we used three towels. I could keep on using this one, but I'm gonna just go ahead and um, get more towels. All right, so hopefully it's catching all of this. Um, same same thing as up here, like just the green outlines, rings. So just to show you a different method, I know most of you aren't gonna have this, I understand, but if you do have a cordless or corded drill, um, then all you need to purchase is this part here, which is like 10, 12 bucks, totally worth it. Um, the drill itself is like 100 bucks, so if you don't have that, then yeah, it might cost you a bit more, but if you have the drill already, I'm sure you do. It's just this part, it's gonna be like 10 bucks. So same thing, we're taking our super clean diluted 10 to 1 and we'll work this part here. And the cool thing about this is you're always going to want to use a towel just to not get any overspray or minimize overspray. Like I said, this material is a bit different um, than what we were cleaning up there in the headliner sunroof. So with here, now you just don't want to hammer it down because it's going to sling everywhere, trust me. So you want to put it on a low setting. And by low setting, I mean don't fully pull the trigger. And you can even give it just one light mist. Take your towel and mop it all up. Again, I'm only cleaning the headliner. I'm not gonna keep on going down the eight pillars and then cleaning the seats and then, no, it's literally just the headliner. And boom, there we go. If you need to touch up a little spot, just spray where it needs it. Maybe even just use your dedicated brush. Agitate, 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 agitate. Wipe it. And boom, that took no more. Oh, got a little bit more here. That took what? Time it. Uh, I think that took like, uh, pop, pop, pop. I'm looking at the timer on the GoPro. I think like a minute, no, I don't know. A minute 30, if that. And boom, that part is complete. So now let's try to take it up to the headliner here. Um, that, we'll get this out the way. So I'm gonna work this section right here. Let's see how it comes out. Again, it can take more liquid because it's sturdier than this material. I'm not gonna fully press it because it is gonna sling uh, the product everywhere. Now you can still just use a towel method here, like if that's all you have, you can most definitely still do all of this with the towel, but just giving you different perspectives on things you can use. I'm not going to put out the steamer because it's not needed, and then I got to let it heat up, and I got to bring the generator out, and so a uh, steamer, uh, although it, could, it definitely would help, like it would be another way to clean it, uh, you know, coming out fine is like this, so, and I don't think that it would add that much of a difference, to be honest, so. But this is fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
And there we go. It is a uh, my big head in the way, guys. My bad. It's a uh, screen. So literally just either with your towel method. Sometimes you have to use your little brush depending if you missed areas or depending where it's at. Uh, you know, you can even step up and use a, 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 a more, a stiffer brush, maybe for like for the carpet and such. Um, I'll, hopefully it's catching it on camera. Let me see if I can just rotate this and hopefully the GoPro is picking it up. Let me get it on a wide angle. So I'm going to do this part right here. I don't want the APC to get onto the leather. So I'll just kind of do that. Then here, this br the bristles are more aggressive than the other brushes, so I would just lightly Agitate it. Let the brush do the work. I'm doing hard in the brush. I'm doing all the work. Maybe even just one quick little spritz. And agitate. Or in mop up, I guess. It's still kind of agitating. And it is taken care of. There you go. So, no big deal. So now, I, but the rest of the the process of using the drill uh, brush with um, APC. So let's fast forward it. Yeah. And there we are cleaning headliner showed you a couple different methods on different stains I basically follow those exact two ones with either the drill brush or the um, regular um, bristle brush a small one and went around the entire uh, headliner I don't know that there was still a lot of them um, there was big marks here on those corner edges right there try to touch those up but overall yeah pretty straightforward came out great still needs to dry on some areas um, Again, if this is your first time cleaning a headliner, you may want to give it some time to dry just because so you can ensure that you've actually um, you've actually removed the stains and they're not going to come back uh, or form like more rings based off of like your cleaning. Uh, but remember, with those rings, if they do form after your cleaning, just wipe it down with APC, like literally just wipe it down, spray into the towel or into the stain, the ring, and wipe it down. But um, yeah, so pretty simple. Nothing. This literally just sixty bucks, just because. Of, I charged 60 just because I wanted to come out to make this video. Um, again, typically I wouldn't make it, I wouldn't come out just for this, but they were super close and it's a good opportunity for a video. So hopefully you learned something. Leave any comments, questions, concerns, want to troll in the comment section down below. Check the links for the guides and tools I used and I'll see you on the next one.